The Nicobar Islands are an archipelagic island chain in the eastern Indian Ocean. They are located in Southeast Asia, 150 km north of Aceh on Sumatra, and separated from Thailand to the east by the Andaman Sea. Located 1,300 km southeast of the Indian subcontinent, across the Bay of Bengal, they form part of the Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, India. UNESCO has declared the Great Nicobar Island as one of the World Network of Biosphere Reserves. Geography and population The Nicobar Islands cover a land area of 1,841 square kilometres and had a population of 36,844 during the 2011 census. They comprise three distinct groups Northern Group, Kar Nicobar, Patimali Central Group, Chaura, Chora or Sananyo, Teresa or Luru. Bampuka or Poahet, Kachal, Kamorta, Nankauri or Nankori, Trinket, Lauk or Isle of Man, Tilongchong Southern Group, Sambalong, Great Nicobar, 922 square kilometers, largest island of the Nicobars, Little Nicobar, Kondal Island, Pulo Milo or Palomilo, Milo Island. Muroi, Track, Trays, Menchal, Cabra, Pigeon and Magapadindira Point 6.756378 degrees north 93.827765 degrees east, 6.756378, is the southernmost point of Great Nicobar Island and also of India itself, lying about 150 km north of Sumatra, Indonesia. Nature The Nicobar Islands are part of a great island arc created by the collision of the Indo-Australian plate with Eurasia. The collision lifted the Himalayas and most of the Indonesian islands, and created a long arc of highlands and islands, which includes the Arakan Yoma range of Burma, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and the islands off the west coast of Sumatra, including the Banyak Islands and Muntawai Islands. Topic. Ecology The climate is warm and tropical, with temperatures ranging from 22 to 30 degrees Celsius. Rainfall is heavy due to annual monsoons and measures around 3,000 to 3,800 mm each year. The vegetation of the Nicobars is typically divided into the coastal mangrove forests and the interior evergreen and deciduous tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forests. Additionally, several islands contain extensive inland grasslands, though these are thought to result from human intervention. The Nicobar Islands are recognized as a distinct terrestrial ecoregion, the Nicobar Islands rain forests, with many endemic species. As a result of lower sea levels during the Ice Ages, the Andaman Islands were linked to the Southeast Asian mainland, but it is not believed that the Nicobar Islands ever had a land bridge to the continent. Lower sea levels did link the islands to one another, Great Nicobar and Little Nicobar were linked to each other, and Nankauri, Chora, Kachal, Trinka, Kamorta, and the nearby smaller islands were linked to one another as well. History Prehistory The Nicobar Islands are believed to have been inhabited for thousands of years. Six indigenous Nicobarese languages are spoken on the islands, which are part of the Mon Khmer branch of the Austroasiatic language family, which includes Mon, Khmer and Vietnamese languages of Southeast Asia, and the Munda languages of India. An indigenous tribe living at the southern tip of Great Nicobar, called the Champan, may be of Mesolithic Southeast Asian origin. Topic. Origin of the name The earliest extant references to the name, Nicobar, is in the Sri Lankan Pali Buddhist chronicles, the Dipavamsa c. 3rd or 4th century CE and the Mahavamsa c. 4th or 5th century, which state that the children of the followers of the legendary founder of the Sri Lankan kingdom, Vijaya, landed on Nagadipa the island of the children, from the Pali Naga meaning naked. The modern name is likely derived from the Chola dynasty name for the islands, Nakavaram or P -U -U -P -P, literally. Naked man, 
in Tamil, which is inscribed on the Thanjavur Tanjore inscription of 1050 CE. Marco Polo, 12th 13th century, also referred to this island as Nekavaran. Topic: <laughs> Colonial period. The history of organized European colonization on the islands began with the Danish East India Company in 1754-56. During this time they were administrated from Trankabare in continental Danish India administrated under the name of Frederiksorn. Missionaries from the Moravian Church Brethren's settlement in Trankabare attempted a settlement on Nankauri and died in great numbers from disease. The islands were repeatedly abandoned due to outbreaks of malaria, 1784 to 1807, 09, 1830 to 1834 and finally from 1848 gradually for good. Between 1778 and 1783, William Boltz attempted to establish an Austrian colony on the islands on the mistaken assumption that Denmark Norway had abandoned its claims to the islands. Italy made an attempt at buying the Nicobar Islands from Denmark between 1864 and 1868. The Italian Minister of Agriculture and Commerce Luigi Torelli started a negotiation that looked promising, but failed due to the unexpected end of his office and the first La Marmora cabinet. The negotiations were interrupted and never brought up again. Denmark's presence in the islands ended formally on the 16th of October 1868 when it sold the rights to the Nicobar Islands to Britain, which in 1869 made them part of British India. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II. During World War II, the islands were occupied by Japan between 1942 and 1945. India occupied these islands after the surrender of Japan, as its territory. <inaudible> Indian state Together with the Andaman Islands, they became a Union territory of India in 1950. <inaudible> Water sports Andaman and Nicobar Islands are also known for the various types of water sports available. Water sports include snorkeling, scuba diving, parasailing, undersea walking and other thrilling sports. Water sports is one main cause of the huge tourist attraction to this place. People can enjoy with their families and prefer to relax or excite themselves. The 26 December 2004 tsunami On 26 December 2004, the coast of the Nicobar Islands was devastated by a 10 to 15 meters high tsunami following the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. At least 6,000 people were killed on the Andaman and Nicobar Islands with reports putting the death toll on Kachal Island alone at 4,600. Several islands were heavily damaged with initial reports of islands broken in two or three pieces and coral reefs moved above water. Teresa Island was said to have been split into two pieces and Trinkat Island into three pieces. Some estimates said that the islands were moved as much as 100 feet 30 meters by the earthquake and tilted. Indira Point subsided 4.25 meters and the lighthouse there was damaged. <laughs> <laughs> World Biosphere Reserve On 31 May 2013 it was reported that Nicobar Islands have been declared as World Biosphere Reserve by UNESCO. Transportation Airport, Car Nicobar CBD, VECX has an airstrip on Car Nicobar Air Force Base of 2717 by 43 meters on the southeast coast near Malacca but does not offer commercial service. Great Nicobar has a small airstrip of approximately 1,000 meters at Campbell Bay, Tenla on its east coast. Seaport, at least one small shipping dock is located in Campbell Bay on the east coast of Great Nicobar. Car Nicobar has a small dock at its northern tip near Keating Point and Mews. See also Nicobarese people Nicobarese languages Champan people 1881 Nicobar Islands earthquake Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve Great Nicobar Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 
Indian Ocean References External links Nicobarese and Champan. The Andaman Association. Archived from the original on 9 July 2011. Retrieved January 2010. World Statesman India Post-tsunami satellite photos from India's National Remote Sensing Centre alternate link.